Hey guys, Avery here for the Avenog Film Extras this time. Uh, not on the main channel that you're used to, just because I want to promote this one a little bit. I plan on uploading some cool stuff. This being cool thing number one, uh, we're going to be covering a really sweet effect that I uh, uploaded a little while ago on the main channel. Um, today we're going to be covering the muzzle flash. So it's actually a CG muzzle flash. We're going to be creating it completely from scratch inside of a 3D application. Very similar to a lot of uh, Hollywood muzzle flashes. You can do a lot with CG that you can't do with stock footage. That's why I think this tutorial is so cool. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're here in After Effects, and um, I basically just have my raw footage here uh, in a new composition, and I've pre-composed it. Basically, this is just me firing the gun and kind of pretending to have a little bit of um, kickback in slow motion. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do, like I said, is retime this footage. So I'm going to be using Twixter. Um, this is a third-party plugin, um, and I highly recommend you check it out. It's really powerful and very useful for stuff like this. So going to go ahead and drag it onto my um, pre-comp and uh, I'm going to set up my input frame rate to 23.976 the frame rate I shot at and I'm going to basically just go forward to the frame where I pull the trigger and the hammer of this gun falls forward which is um, right there which is frame 28 and then I'm going to animate the speed. Go forward a few frames and drop the speed down to something like 20. And the way Twixter actually slows down footage um, is, is pretty cool. It actually detects edges and tries to like estimate what's happening in the scene. So it actually does a pretty good job of creating like a true slow motion effect. Uh, we're probably gonna have to expand our composition length a little bit because we've slowed everything down so our footage is uh, going to be a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go into the composition settings and set the duration, let's see, to about 200 frames or so. And just expand that out. And so we can make this entire effect maybe around 100 frames or 110 so once we have that um, we're just going to render this out as a frame sequence and we're going to be doing that so that we can import it into 3ds max which is the application that we're going to be using for the muzzle flash uh, and we can work with it inside of 3ds max so to do that i'm going to add this to the render queue and i'm going to change the output settings to a jpeg sequence and there's no need to output audio, not that you really have a choice, but uh, you don't need audio or anything like that. And then just find a good place to save it and click render when you're finished. 